President, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, Professor Bradley Efron and I very deeply appreciate this award. We work in a field of statistics which has a very long history. Two great early 19th century mathematicians, Gauss and Laplace, made pioneering contributions motivated in their case by problems in astronomy. Now over the 200 years since, our field has blossomed in various directions. It's expanded relentlessly in technical, conceptual, and mathematical richness. The expansion has been driven by uh, questions arising in the natural sciences, in the social sciences, in everyday life, in all its aspects. And of course, in by the sciences and by their associated technologies, uh, engineering, for a period very much agriculture, how could more crops be grown uh, more effectively, and over the last years, very particularly, issues in medicine and epidemiology. The point of our subject, however, partly, is that problems that arise in one field have unexpected vibrations in a different field. And it's that that makes the topic for us so fascinating. The two of us have worked as statisticians for a combined total uh, well, I'm not very strong myself on arithmetic, but um, the t combined total is uh, well over 120 years for the two of us. And the point, though, is not the length of that, but that we retain our enthusiasm for the field, both of us, very strongly. I'd like to add a purely personal note uh, that I'm delighted to share this award with uh, Professor Efron. Our our, in detail, our fields of work are very different, but I've very long time admired the high originality and breadth of his contributions, especially, but by no means only, the specific uh, work for which the prize is being given. Both of us have benefited immeasurably from the support of our families. That would be hard to put into words. But moreover, we both, I think, benefit strongly from a vibrant local, national, and international research community. And very particularly from our immediate colleagues and perhaps especially from our doctoral students. They've come from perhaps, uh, sort of, not an occasion for any very great numerical precision, but they've come from perhaps up to 20 different countries across the world to study Stanford or in London or Oxford in my case. Um, those students have by and large followed the basic precepts of doctoral students. First, that they should ask their supervisor questions that he or she can't answer. And many of my students particularly have been very successful in that, in that regard. <laughs> and also tell, tell the supervisor things that he or she didn't know. Working with them has been a deeply enriching experience. If I could add at the end, first an appreciation to the foundation a wonderful evening yesterday. Thank you so much for that. And also to say a word of appreciation to the staff of the foundation who've been constantly helpful, kind, thoughtful, and caring, and have enriched these days in Madrid enormously. Thank you, sir, again for the award, which we very deeply appreciate.